Recently, I've been diving deep into the world of liquidation and wholesale, right? And I've noticed a common question that keeps popping up almost every day. It's about getting a reseller's permit or a reseller's license. And today I'm here to shed some light on this topic in a simple, straightforward way so you can get one very easily. For those of you that are curious about flipping products from liquidation or wholesale sites, or maybe you wanna make sure that your profit margins are a little bit higher because now you're not paying sales tax on every single purchase, here's what you need to know. The first step is you go get an EIN from the IRS, right? You need to get an employer identification number so that you can then input that into the form on your state's website so that you can get your reseller's permit. Now, if you already have an LLC set up or you've already done this, then just use that EIN for your business. Basically what an EIN number is a social security number for your business. And don't worry if you don't have an LLC or a formal business yet, you can still apply for an EIN as a sole proprietor. However, remember that later if you change your business structure, like you turn your sole proprietorship into an LLC or an S corp or something else, you'll need a new EIN for that. The next step, like I covered, is apply for the reseller's permit within your state. Now, after you obtain your EIN from irs.gov, head over to your state's official website. It's going to depend state to state, obviously. And here you can use your new EIN to apply for a reseller's permit. The permit is crucial for all sellers, in my opinion, because it allows you to not only purchase from wholesale and liquidation companies at those specific lower prices, but it also helps you bypass sales tax, which means more profit when you sell items in the future. And just two years ago when I actually found this out, I did the math and the amount that I'd left on the table simply by paying double sales tax and not having reseller's permit literally made me sick. Step three is to then sign up for whatever websites you want, right? So assuming that you're here to sign up for liquidation or wholesale websites, then this is going to pertain to you. If not, and you're just here for the profit, then don't worry about this. With your reseller's permit in hand, now you're ready to sign up for these various websites, and now you can buy these products without sales tax at wholesale prices and make more money. Now, if you're unsure where to start, one of my favorite liquidation companies, 888 Lots, offers an extensive guide on their website detailing this entire process more thoroughly, as well as each specific state and where you can apply. You can find the link in the description below or simply search Google for 888 lots, how to get a reseller's permit, and it should pop up. Every state has a different process, though, and a different website for attaining an actual permit. So it's important to follow the specific instructions for your state, and the guide that I linked should help you do so.